The Mississippi Arts and Entertainment Experience has had a successful first year, according to leaders there, but the staff do hope to combat an issue that they say is keeping some kids from coming to check it out there. Emily Erickson has more. So this exhibit in the Max honors master quilter Tammy McGrew from Mississippi. It allows kids to come in, draw their own quilt designs, place them right here so that they have their very own spot in the Max. It's, it just gives a, a whole new cultural view of Mississippi. It also has given us, like when we have family coming to town, to give us some place to bring them that nice, that's nice, that gives them uh, a good view of Mississippi. The Mississippi Arts and Entertainment Experience is a great place for people of any age to dive into who has molded Mississippi throughout history. The first few months of summer, of course, were pretty heavy because we had just opened. We were a new kid on the block. And it gradually started to climb, but it really peaked whenever we had Henson open in January of this year. And we're hoping to keep that plateau going. In keeping this plateau going, the MAX wants to provide transportation to students in need. One of the biggest challenges, though, for public schools in particular in Meridian is uh, transportation. So we're trying to overcome that. We got a generous gift recently for a bus fund to help assist uh, uh, lower income schools to, uh, to get to it. And uh, we're hoping to see that more and more across the state. Ross Collins counselor Nicole Worthy brings her daughter here often along with out of state relatives. She says museums like the Max are crucial for a child's education. We have a rich history in art and literature and uh, drama and all those things. This is just a great place so that they can experience that and see where it can take them to see the lives of other people. As well. Reporting at the Max, Emily Erickson, Twin States News. The Max currently has $7,000 in their bus fund and hope to raise nearly $50,000 to be able to advertise to local and statewide school groups.